Hello everyone, in this video tutorial, we will see how we can fine-tune Llama 2 model in Google Colab. But before we go towards the implementation, let me show you one thing. I have just launched a LangChain course on ODB platform in which we will be building 12 large language model applications using OpenAI and Llama 2. So you can see that 198 students have currently enrolled in this course and we have 4.4 ratings uh, out of 5. So this is good and the course is available in $13 so you can just check the link in the description and if you just click on the link you will be directed towards this page and you can just buy this course so the course price is $13 and 35% off and here is the complete content details you can find all the content details over here so here are all the course content details so there are many around we have 20 sections in this course and you can see that we have 20 implemented 13 different projects but i have planned to make it uh, to 20 projects in this course and here you can see all the description plus uh, we have other courses available on odb platform as well which are related to object detection models which include you v7 you v8 and you ask so you can check out these courses as well and the link of this course is provided in the comment section and in the description of the video please do check it out and let me know your thoughts so let's move towards the uh, implementation part. So before running the script, please make sure that you have selected the runtime as GPU. So we will be using T4 GPU and we will be using the free subscription of Google Colab. I don't have the free subscription of Google Colab. So I will be using the free uh, subscription of Google Colab and it comes with uh, 15 GP of uh, graphic card, GPU graphic cards. And we have this RAM, 12.7 GP RAM. And here we have the disk size. Okay, so that's how good. So we will start with first we will import all the required packages, install all the required packages and then we will import all the required libraries as well. So let's first install all the required lab packages that are required in this project. So this might take few seconds. Now you can see that we have installed all the required packages. So now I will import all the required libraries. So uh, before I go further ahead, I want to uh, give credit uh, for this project to this. So if you can just see over here, uh, this uh, project we are taking help from this uh, towards data science block. So in this block, uh, they have shown how you can fine tune your own Lama 2 model in a Google Colab notebook and it's a members only story. So if you are a member, so you can just get access to your story, but uh, there is a detailed instructions provided. So you can just check this blog uh, here as well. I will add the uh, link of this blog in the description and thanks to the author of this blog and very awesome talk. So uh, we have imported all the required libraries. So, but before we go ahead, uh, I just want you to uh, show you one thing. In ca case of Lama 2, we have pre-trained model as well as Lama 2 come with chat model. So Lama 2 has uh, three, uh, three different models, one with 7 billion parameters, the other with 13 billion parameter, and the third one with uh, 70 billion parameters, okay? So in this project, we will be using Lama 2 model with 7 billion parameters. So uh, you know that Lama 2 comes with two more different models. One is the pre-trained model and one is the chat model. So if I just show you about this as well, so if I just go to over here, so if I just go below down, so you can see that uh, we have pre-trained and fine-tuned chat model. So Llama 2 basically counts with 7 billion parameters, 13 billion parameters and 70 billion parameters. So in this project, I will be using uh, 7 billion parameters model. Uh, plus you can see that uh, the pre-trained model is not fine-tuned for chat or question answer. So if you are creating a chat code, uh, you can use the Llama 2 pre-trained model because they are not fine-tuned for the question answer. They can be only prompted so that you can complete a sentence. Like uh, if you want to just complete a sentence, uh, it's raining cats. So it will just complete a sentence as and dog. So like in this way, it can be used for sentence completion. So they mod pre-trained models are not fine-tuned for chat or question answer. They should be prompted so that the expected answer is the natural continuation of the prompt. So like it's training cat. So if you give this input, it will give you output and dogs. Okay. So they can be used for uh, sentence completion like this. But uh, we have the fine-tuned chat models. Uh, fine-tuned chat models are 
were trained for dialogue completion uh, to get the expected feature and performance for uh, uh, performance from them. A specific formatting defined chat completion needed to be followed. So if you want to uh, just get the expected uh, performance from the chat models, like you want uh, the expected answers from your chat models, you need to follow these instructions. You need to define the instruction tags and the system tags, okay? And BOS and EOS tokens. So, that uh, in this uh, tutorial or in this project, I will be showing you how we can use the instruction and system tags as well. And we will be using point to chat model llama to chat model in this project with 7 billion parameters. Okay. So now you can see that uh, we just need to define this prom template if you want to get the expected answer. So as we are using llama to chat model, so we need to follow this prom template. So here you can see we have the prompt template over here. Here is the basically we have the instruction tag and this is the system tag. So system prompt is basically you want to guide the model. So uh, if you don't pass the system prompt, the default system prompt will be used. But user prompt is necessary because in the user prompt, you will be asking a question to your giant model. Okay, so there are already default system prompt which is used in the backend. So if you don't pass the system prompt, it will be using the default system prompt but the user prompt is the question that you are asking you to your chat model and the model answer is the, the reply that your ch chat model gives to you as for, for, uh, on your question so this is the model answer so a uh, user prompt is required from your side and the model answer is expected from the chat board so we uh, so as we are trying to fine tune the lemma to chat model on uh, on our data set. So we just uh, we want to prepare the data set considering this format. We need to define the instruction tags. We need to define the uh, system tags and we need to define the user prompt and the uh, model answer we will get from the chat code. So now you can see that uh, this is the original data set. So if I just click over here. So as we are fine tuning our number two model on some data set. So now you can see that uh, this is the original data set. But you can see that uh, in this data set, if I show you, we don't have instruction tags or the system tags or the uh, any uh, further things like. But uh, you, we just need to reformat this data set so that we can uh, train our Lava2 model on this data set. So if I just click over here, so you can see over here, we have just uh, reformatted the first 1000 sample of this data set as per our uh, Lama2 requirements or we have just pre-processed this data set and prepared this data set to fine tune our Lama2 model. So if when we just pre-process this data set, so this is the data set we get. So now you can see here we have the instruction tag. You can see over here. Okay, you can also see, let us further zoom in. So now you can see that here we have the instruction tag. Here we have the system tag. So you can see that here the instruction tag and so this is the instruction uh, which I am passing and here is the model answer, okay. So now you can see over here, compose a, a professional email with the following point. My Chinese book, 10 years good, uh, good book, people love my book, can you hire me? So now you can see that this is the question and here you can see the response from the chat model. Thanks for the information. Unfortunately, your initial message does not contain enough details or structure to compose a compelling professional email to a professional potential employer. Here are some suggestions for how we can improve the message. Okay. So now you can see that uh, this is our instructions which are passing over to Lava2 model. You will create a table with macronutrients, mac micronutrients and k calories of the following two foods. So here you can see we have the instruction and here we have the answer. Okay, so now you can see here we have a detailed answer. So this is how it works. So we have just uh, reformatted this data set uh, into this uh, data set so that we can just fine tune the Lama2 model on this uh, data set. So we have this added system tags, instruction tags on this data set. So this is the original data set name, this one which I showed you. Uh, okay, so now this is the reformatted data set following the Lama2 template with 1000 samples. So we have just reformatted uh, considering the Lama2 template uh, with considering uh, and it includes 1000 samples examples. But if you want to completely reformat the data set, you can use the following Lama2 template.
But if you want to know how we can just uh, reformat this data set, you can check this Google Colab notebook. In this Google Colab notebook, it's explain how you can reformat the data set. So if you are using the Lama to pre-train model, you don't need to follow this uh, template, okay? So now let's see how we can uh, fine tune Lama 2 model. So free Google Colab offers a 15 GP graphics card. So if I just close, click over here, you can see that free Google Colab offers 15 GP graphics card. So they are some limited resources. So if you have a Google Colab paid subscription, it offers 40 GP graphics card. But so like you can see that this 15 GP graphic card is barely enough to store Lama 2 model weights. Plus, we can also uh, we also need to consider the overhead due to optimizer states, gradients, and forward activation. So you can see that if we consider the overhead, so we can see that 15 GB graphic card is not enough to fine tune Lama 2 model in Google Colab. Okay. So you can see that full fine tuning is not possible here. We need parameter efficient tuning techniques like LoRa and QLoRa. So you can see that uh, as full fine tuning is not possible because we have 15 GB graphic cards plus as we have limited resources plus there is some overhead you do optimizer stairs gradient so you can see that uh, it's not enough to store the lama 2 model with 7 billion parameters squares okay like not enough to store the fine tuned lama 2 model okay so we just uh, need to uh, we need to implement parameter efficient fine tuning which include uh, lora and two lora so we need to uh, implement these techniques so to drastically reduce the vram usage we need to fine tune the model in four bit Precision, where which is why we use QLoRa over here. So we need to implement parameter efficient fine tuning so that we can fine tune the Lama 2 model on our custom data set. And for this, we will be using uh, QLoRa as the parameter efficient fine tuning technique. So now we will just load the uh, Lama 2's uh, Lama 2 7 billion chat model. So you can see that I have just loaded the Lama 2 7 billion chat model from Hugging Face. Now I will train it on the uh, this uh, Lama 2 uh, data set like reformatted data set which I just showed you above. So here we have this data set over here. I have just showed you the data set above which will produce our fine tune model. So this will uh, give me the fine tune model and this is the, my model name. Okay, so after fine tune this will be my model name. Okay, and here we have different parameters which is uh, the QLoRa will use a rank of 64 with scaling parameter 16. Okay, so and we will load the Lama 2 model in 4-bit precision, you can see here, and we are using the quantization type as NF4. Okay, so, and we are just training our Lama 2 model on one epoch, which I have defined here. So we are just training the Lama 2 model on one epoch, you can just change it as well. So, and here are other parameters, you can look over it as well. So now we will just load the data set and then we will are uh, just configuring bits and bytes for four bit uh, for four bit quantization. You can see over here. So now uh, we are just loading the Lama 2 model in four bit precision on a GPU. You can see that we are loading Lama 2 model on four bit precision on the GPU. Plus we are also loading configuration on Pure LoRa as well. So that's all the details. So let's execute this and start the training. So now we have just executed the training process. This will take around 30 to 35 minutes. So let's Come back as the training completes and then we will go ahead. I was able to fine tune the Lava 2 model on our data set for one epoch and it took around 30 minutes for one epoch training. And here we can check the plots on the tensor board as well. So uh, it's launching the tensor board, so this might take a uh, few minutes. So let's see. Uh, so here uh, is the tensor board. Okay. So here are our tensor board plots. I think it will be well in one minute. Okay. So here are our tensor board plots, which you can see over here. So that's fine. So now we will just create a text generation pipeline. So I'm not asking a question with my fine tune model. I'm just asking the question from our original Lama 2 model, chat model, and here I have to find a tokenizer, and the output uh, will be maximum 200 English characters long. And here we have the, creating the pipeline. Here I'm just passing the uh, default system prompt. We have the instruction tag, and here is the prompt by question, which I'm just passing over here, and I will just get the response over here. So let's run this. So this uh, this is the warning. You can just ignore this warning. Over 
you can simply import warnings and warning.set is equal to false at the start when we import required libraries so that's not a worry so this will take a few minutes as well so let's see So here is our response in the instruction tag here we have the question which we have asked what is a large language model and here is the model answer a large language model is a typical artificial intelligence model that is that uh, that is trained on a large data set of text to generate human -like language output it is designed to able to be able to understand so you can see that we are getting a quite detailed answer Plus, uh, I just forgot to what, tell one thing. Uh, after training the Llama, or after fine tuning the Llama 2 model on any custom data set, our model weights are saved over here. So you can see the .bin file, the JSON file, and the README file over here. Okay. So this is our quantized model you can see now. So now we are just emptying our VRAM. So, so now we just want to push our Llama 2 model, fine tune Llama 2 model on hugging face so that anyone can use this model and uh, uh, use this model for a chat purpose and uh, or you can they can deploy it on their website as well so now we just want to push our llama 2 model on hugging face but before this we need to store the new llama 2 model so this is our llama 2 uh, fine tune model llama 2 model name llama 2 7 billion parameters chat fine tune so how we can store our new llama 2 uh, model now which is over here fine tune model now so we need to merge the weights from LoRa with the base model. So we just need to merge the weights. So this is our base model. Base model is original Lama 2 model. And the new model is basically our fine tune model, which is here. Okay. So uh, there is a no straightforward way. We just need to uh, use the PEFT library to merge everything. So we are just using the PEFT library. You can see over here to do all the merging. So let's run this. And we are uh, reloading the model in FP16 precision and merging it to the LoRa weights. So now you can see it's loading the checkpoints. So this might take a few seconds. So let's wait. So now we have just loaded the checkpoints. So it's done. So now let's push the model to the hub. So just keep forward locally. So don't you face any UTF-8 error. So now I'm just doing uh, login to my hub face so that I can just push my uh, model. So I will just go to the hugging face from here. And now I will just uh, go to assess tokens from here. And if you have not created a token, you just need to create a new token. But you need, when you create a new token, you just need to select any name. So you can just write any name over here. And you just need to select that role as right because uh, you are pushing your model to the hub. You are not reading or any assessing any model from the hub. You are just pushing your model to the hub. So you can generate new token from here. And you can just show this and just copy this. You can you can now paste it over here and click on run and just click on yes from here and then click on run again okay so login successful so now it's just pushing the model to the hub so here you can see that uh, here are our model details you can see over here so i think i'm just missing one thing uh, which should be here so let me just stop it from here so which includes No, I have just said check PR is equal to true and I have just run this cell and I was able to push the model to the hub. So now you can go over here and you can see that uh, these are the other two models which I have created. So this is the model Lama 2 7 uh, billion parameters and fine tune model which I have just uh, currently pushed to the hub and you can see updated one minute ago. So if I just click over here. So now you can see if I just go to file and version so you can see that dot bin file the quantized model over here and you can see the tokenizer over here and so now we are able to push our model to the hub so this is our name so now we can use this model a uh, fine tune model in our applications and we can just uh, simply use this model and chat with our model as well so let me show you how you can use this model so here is the short script how you can use this fine tune model here i'm installing the packages transform and accelerate you can see over here and here I'm just importing tokenizer you can see and here you can see I'm just using my fine tune model which I have just pushed to the hub and here I'm just asking a question what is a large language model and it is a text generation model and this is the default system prompt which I showed you already 
And here is our answer. A large language model, a large language model is a machine or computer program that can rest and generate. So you can uh, simply ask some other questions as well, uh, which is in our data set and you can get the response over here. Uh, explain to me in a simple, uh, in a simple to understand way that question for finding the end triangle number is and how it can be proved. So here we can see that uh, the proof of this is given in the uh, book Mathematical Theories by Paul J. He uses mathematical induction to prove that equation is proved. So you can see the complete details over here. So in this way, you can just uh, use your uh, fine-tuned model uh, from the face. So that's all from this tutorial. Thank you for watching.